good to go, mate. Good to go. Phew. I'm gonna let the big man drive. I'm in for a ride, I think. Safety first, guys. Just show him how it's done, really. Like it's. Teach him a few pointers, eh? my life mate yeah guy's loose and out of control we'll see what he come up with i don't have much confidence in it but we'll see what happens anyway this bloke's got no idea oh this side feels way better already <laughs> So yeah, while here at Bike Territory, uh, Scott mentioned that uh, at the start of the year they got pretty affected by uh, the, the bushfires that come through here. So the northern side of the property um, pretty much virtually got wiped out. We did get hit pretty hard here, so lightning strike out in the scrub, 60, 70 k an hour winds and uh, 60 odd guys out here, RFS and choppers and everything trying to hold it back and it went, yep. went from over on that scrub line. Yep. All the way down to the buildings down there in probably six to seven minutes. So, wow. yeah, just total devastation. It's really hard to explain to people when a fire does go nuts. It's, there's no control, like no. nature. Like, even yep. out here, everything went bad and you can't hear anything, can't see anything, it's hard to breathe, and you're trying to make sure everyone's safe. But yep. just for a minute there, it was totally yep. out of control and we didn't know whether our houses and stuff were still there. We, we did not know that until we came around the edge of the fire and got everyone out. Very glad you guys kept safe and you kept all your stock and Definitely. it's devastating to, yeah, all the work and hard work that goes in afterwards to, to well, rebuild and we, get there. We were but... listening to what you were doing at Dakar while all this was going on. <laughs> nah, that's, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, would be nothing like fighting a fire, that's for sure. No, it's, no. Uh, it's definitely a different fight, that's for sure. But no. uh, yeah, glad these rains have come. Um, definitely made a lot of fun in these can hands for us. But oh, uh, I'm yeah, glad you, came you guys need it for the for the feed, so it's good. <laughs> good to see. Every industry in in country New South Wales, Queensland, everywhere that's been dry, yep. and then COVID, they've taken a massive hit, and it will continue for a while. So yeah, if everyone does travel like travel locally support like this is your home country you need to know all about it where you've yep. all come from what's out here it's amazing so um yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd, to see this landscape is unreal so it's so does someone that's been all over the world yeah yeah 
Uh, he offered to basically cook us up a uh, barbecue uh, for one of the nights and um, yeah, he done an amazing job, the food was unreal. Um, in the meantime, he definitely uh, he brought a small army of uh, family, friends and kids over and um, one that had been practicing all week how to do a proper handshake and was a bit nervous to give me a, a weak handshake. PJ? Hey. Hey, good, how are you? Mate, what was that? You need to give it, that was the weakest piss handshake. <laughs> Gotta get a bit tougher in there, eh? Nah, you're right, good man. <laughs> they were super excited to, to meet us and see the cars and um, yeah, see what we're up to and ask plenty of questions, that's for sure. I, uh, they were hooking in, they were definitely uh, giving, giving me some hell, that's for sure. <laughs> Am I getting some bunny ears right now or what? <laughs> <laughs>